Welcome back to Houston Life. You know, it's time for a little lesson with cocktail mis mixing. Gonna put a little spring into our cocktails. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Joining us now to show us how to do it is Pasha Morachetti with Rosewater. Pasha, so you are a mixologist. I'm a, I, I just put, I pour liquids in the glasses and I shake them up and that's it. Mixologist is kind of a too fancy term. Uh, oh, it sounds too stuffy. A little too stuffy, yeah. It's fancy. For sure, yeah. We're just a neighborhood bar. We take our drinks seriously, but we don't want people to feel intimidated by them. So we don't, we just call ourselves bartenders. Yeah, so Rosewater then, you guys are known for making, it's not just like getting like a vodka soda. You guys actually make craft well, cocktails. We'll make you whatever you want, but we do tend to make, our menu has slightly more elaborate cocktails. Um, but first and foremost, we are just a neighborhood bar. And so while we do make fancy cocktails, we'll make you anything. If you want vodka and tap water, that's cool. We can so do it for you. Let's make a couple in of the handcrafted sure. cocktails you guys are known for. Sure thing. So uh, let's say it's springtime. It's getting a little warmer. Let's say you've got maybe some Irish whiskey left over from last week. Uh, we've got a couple cocktails here that we can make. One of them is, uh, if you look at it, it looks like a traditional Irish coffee. And it mostly is, except that we're using... Uh, kind of looks like a Guinness to me. <laughs> it does, exactly, yeah. And that's kind of the, the fun thing about a very traditional Irish coffee is it does look exactly like a Guinness. So uh, this is a cold brew coffee from Black Hole uh, in the Montrose. We like their coffee, and so we use it in our, our house cocktails. Um, we also have something called a Wild-Eyed Rose, which is a very simple cocktail that involves uh, a base spirit. In this case, we're using Irish whiskey, some fresh lime juice, and then this is a homemade grenadine that we put together. Okay, um, homemade grenadine is not going to be something that I have at home. True. Most people don't. You don't really use it in most things, but it's super easy. So if you go to the store and just get some of that palm pomegranate uh, juice, you just mix it up in equal proportions, like one cup, one cup with white sugar, and then add a little bit of pomegranate molasses, like a tablespoon or two. Uh, you can get that at a Middle Eastern grocery store, even some HEBs, and you have homemade pomegranate or uh, grenadine, and it's delicious and way better than the stuff you get on the shelf. Wow. All right. So let's get mixing. Sure. At some point, uh, we get to taste these, right? For sure. <laughs> okay. Perfect. The sooner you make yours, the sooner you can taste it. All right. Awesome. So why don't we start with a coffee-based okay. uh, drink first? So uh, to make this drink, the first thing you do is make yourself uh, a, a, brown, a raw sugar syrup. Uh, and so we're going to put an, a half an ounce of that syrup into the glass. And the raw sugar syrup. How do you do that? So this is what we use. It's a, a turbinado sugar uh, called sugar in the raw. And you just get it and mix it just like with the grenadine, equal parts water and sugar. Uh, the, the crystals are kind of coarse, so it takes a little while to dissolve them, but that's all you got to do. We can see the ingredients right there on our screen in case people at and home want to follow along. We're going to put in coffee. We're going to put in this our, this whiskey. Oh, don't so let me jump the gun. Let's go ahead and use... Uh, honestly, whiskey it doesn't, before coffee. It doesn't matter. The order in this case doesn't really matter, but... Um, How much whiskey? Uh, so we're going to put an ounce and a half in. And... and I'm putting the whiskey in first because if you're going to shortchange yourself... Hey, you, you shortchange sure that. You want to make sure the whiskey gets in there first. <laughs> Just a splash. So, and, and it's critical to measure ingredients. Absolutely. Maybe that's where I'm going. Maybe that's why my cocktails taste so disgusting because I rarely measure stuff. <laughs> okay. And then after that, we're going to add... So point, let's start with two ounces. Two ounces of coffee. So this is a very, very concentrated... Uh, cold brew is typically a little bit more concentrated than regular coffee. Okay. So go ahead and put in your two ounces. And... Perfect. That's probably about good. So let's let's stop it. You want to leave yourself a little bit of room so you get that nice. Uh, it looks just like regular coffee. You know, you could put this in the coffee pot at work, and your fellow Nobody coworkers would, would have no idea. Absolutely. Okay, but how do I get the the frothy stuff on top? So for that, what we're going to do is uh, so we we want to handshake the cream. Now, the trick here is you don't want to make it stiff like a traditional whipped cream, because otherwise it won't pour. Uh, you just want to give it a few shakes. Oh, yeah. You're not serving it on a piece of pie. Exactly. Right. You just want to, you want to pour it, and it'll float, because it's less dense than the coffee. Wait. So this is just heavy whipping cream? This is literally just heavy whipping cream. That's oh, wow. it. In a protein shake bottle. Exactly. So this is how I get my exercise, and this is like my pre-workout. It's just like whipping cream. Okay. Show us how it's done. So you just take it, and you shake a little bit. We already shook a little bit ahead of time for that, so we don't want to turn it into It cream. looks like baby formula. <laughs> but it tastes it looks like better. a protein shake. Okay, so then you shake it up. You, you pour. shake it up, and then you pop the top, and you're just going to pour it gently. If you want to give it a go. Oh, here, I'm going to start with this, the one that we had made in lower, this. Lower it down a little bit. I'll lower it. As Close. low as you can. There you go. So you just want, oh, it like oh, expands wow. all over. Wow. That is oh, well, hello, executive oh, producer yes. Don Graham. Hello. Cheers. <laughs> I don't mind if you do, <laughs> and I'm sure you don't either. So pouring it slowly, that's the trick to get it pouring to really slowly, foam up. Yeah, you want it to, uh, to get as low as possible to the surface so it doesn't kind of sink. And, um, and then just let it kind of fill to the top. This is like such a way to impress your guests when you have them over for a dinner party. Sure, absolutely. So am I awesome at this? I would say you're pretty awesome. You did really well. I'm very impressed, actually. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you. It was quite difficult. Yeah, if you ever need okay, a I'm going to take a sip down. of your creation. Wait, and can I sip the one that was already made? Absolutely, yeah. Mmm. So let's, that's good. So let's do the wild eye rose. So the, so the wild eyed rose, so this is a, 
This is an example of a very simple cocktail salt uh, called a sour, uh, which has just three ingredients, some kind of uh, spirit, some booze, some citrus juice, in this case lime, it's good. And, and then the sweetener. So to make this drink, we're just going to build these items. We're going to put this together. So we're going to take our, in this case, we'll take our syrup. That's the grenadine syrup. The homemade grenadine. And how much are you using like of that? Three quarters of an ounce of this. Luckily, we have this handy little recipe we've popped up on the screen. There you go. You can easily do this at home. Just make sure you squeeze your citrus juice as, as close to the time you're going to make the drink as possible. Uh, three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. Okay. Fresh and means fresh. Fresh means fresh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So this is TV, so we squeezed this an hour ago, which is okay, yeah. usually. But if you can squeeze it right before, it's definitely best. Oh, you can actually taste the difference if you... Absolutely. I guarantee it right you away. Just squeeze some lime juice and let it sit for several hours in your fridge and uh, taste it against some fresh. It'll, it'll, Seriously? Yeah, it'll oxidize really? pretty significantly. Wow, okay. Um, so then we have two ounces of Irish whiskey. We're going to pour that in the glass. That's it. And then we're going to shake all? it together. That's it. It's, so the trick is like when you use a very, very uh, high quality spirit, fresh juice, and a very uh, high quality uh, sweetener, you get a lot of complexity and it's just three ingredients. So anybody can make this at home uh, and you can really impress your friends. So you I mean, it makes total sense that the better ingredients, ingredients you use, the better your finished product yeah. will be. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And you're using the big uh, so square. We, so we get these custom made uh, by a company here in Houston called Ice Age, and um, we love them. They So uh, if you're shaking at home, you just need really one big ice cube, or you can use some ice in your freezer. It's okay. Uh, so you're going to put it together, and we're just going to shake for a few seconds. By the way, those big ice cubes, um, if you look on Amazon, they're called the King Cube. They come in a silicone tray. Oh. Cool. I have them. My sister has them. They're great. So you're shaking for about 15 seconds over there or so. About, yeah. So when, if you're using a bigger cube like this, uh, you're not going to get as, as fast a dilution as if you're using a bunch of small, like, um, crescents in your freezer. If you're using ice from home, like a typical freezer ice, I'd probably only do it maybe five to seven seconds. And to serve it... Louis has it down to, like, timed out. Oh. Nope. Oh, not going to go. Cube isn't going to fit in that glass. Let's get a smaller cube. And... We're at home, so it doesn't matter. We can touch it. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> Part, we would never do that. So then you just take a strainer and right over. strain the cocktail directly into the glass. Ooh, Ooh, so pretty. And so you'll notice, and then we garnish with a little Gotta have the garnish. flourish. So we have a little fancy lime with a cherry through it. Pasha, Cheers. that is beautiful. Here, Jennifer Broom, I'm going to hand that to you. Perfect. Pasha, I'm going to try this. Yeah. Thank if, you so you, much. You're very welcome. I'm happy to be here. So... And if you're making this at home, you'll notice we have two different glasses here. Cocktails don't have to be strictly defined by the glass, like maybe with an Irish coffee. But if you've got something like this, if you've got just like an orange juice glass or a pint glass and you Perfect. want to just We have license. This is definitely spring in a glass. Asha, thank Cheers. you so thank much. You. And Cheers. for more delicious drink ideas from Rosewater, just visit rosewaterclearlake.com.